Hello and welcome. Have you ever wanted to lock people out of your base with liquid? Well, with this neat device you can. So, let's have a look. Oh, look. Mm, empty room. Oh, diamond armor. I want it, I want it, I want it. How do I get it? How do I get it? Well, ah, clue, liquid. Hmm, okay. I've got water. Let's add some water. One. Okay, nothing happens. Need to keep adding. Let's fill it up. Radio. Oh, something's happening. It's going down. It's going down. Yeah, something's working. Something's gotta be happening. Come on, will it let me in? Will it? Come on, is anything gonna work? Yes! Oh crap! Didn't get in, but there you go. You can lock people out of your base by using liquid. So. If I head outside and we will get stuck into it. Just before I show you guys how to make this neat device, this is what you are going to need. You are going to need a hardened fluid ux, transfer node, a liquid one, structure pipe, transfer pipe, golden fluid pipe, red alloy wire, I would suggest a stack of this. Oh, a toggle latch, a repeater, a cell gate, and about two or three pulse formers, as well as a handful of red pipe wire, a item filter, a couple of band gates, a hardened filter, and a tank, plus some strips. And of course, the door. So, if we grab all this neat stuff out first, grab it all. So, just as a memorize, this is all what you're going to need to make this. Right, first, what you're going to need to do is to do yourself a six by five area, two blocks deep. Once you have done that, what you're next going to want to do is to grab your tank. Bung your tank there. And then you're going to want to bung your next tank right here. And now, just before we go any further, if you just knock all of this out. And yeah, so I'll be back once I've done that. Okay, and then you should have something that looks like this so far. Sweet. And just before we carry on with the neat cool things, we'll knock them two blocks out. And we'll quickly hop up and we'll place our door back there. So this is all going to control the door. Next, what you're going to want to do is grab a golden fluid pipe, bung it there, and grab a cell gate. Chuck that there. And finally, now we can get into the redstone bit. We chuck a wire there. Next, what you are going to want to do is you are going to want to get a pulse former. Chuck a pulse former like that. Next, grab your repeater. Chuck it like that. And then if we place this. As you can see, this will control the door. You can get rid of that one. And we're going to send one down here. Put this to 16 ticks. And bring that out like that. So you've got something that looks like this. Next, what you're going to want to do is grab your redstone wire, place that there. And grab a cell gate. Place it there, so make sure it's on the in part. Grab your red, say it, say it right this time. 
red wire. Then you're going to want to find the toggle latch, which is this one here. And if we spin around, oh crap, placed the wrong one. Sweet. You want to make sure this side is pointing this way. That is very important. Next, if we grab our strips, you can have meat strips or ice strips, as long as you've got some strips. Oh. You want to place one there. And we're going to want to place one there. Next, if we grab our red wire, one there and one there. Then if we find our pulse former again, pulse former. We love our pulse formers. Chuck that up like that. Next, you're going to want to find your construction pipe. If you have any, then place it like that. Then like that. Join up to this pulse former here. Now you've done that. If you run a wire all the way to here, that's done. Next, if we grab our red pipe wire this time, and we're going to want to chuck it on here, just like so. Now, if we grab our iron gates, place one there and place one there. Sweet. So you will not need to change anything to the cell gate at all. You can leave it at two seconds. So now if we go set it up. Now if we head to this cell gate first. If we run along to, you can choose whichever one you want here. I chose tank full. And then I chose redstone signal. And now if we head over to here, to this gate, we want to go red pipe. And now we are going to want a okay. You're going to want a redstone signal of 15 when I can find it okay you're actually going to want redstone signal sorry you don't need redstone signal 15 next after you've done that set it up just like this escape you want to come over to this one here and now we're going to want to get so the come so the contents in the tank is empty. Or you can change this to fit your needs however you like. And then we're going to want to find, there we go. As you can see, it's flipped. And now you can, now we've set it up so it will go in, but the problem is it will stay there. Now we need to find a way of getting it out so the next person can use it. So, if we dig away some of this dirt and get our tank again, chuck a tank just like so. This could be your storage tank, you can find a place in your base or wherever to put it, but you're probably going to want to put it out of sight so no one sees it. Next. You're going to want to get your transfer node and your transfer pipe. If we chuck our transfer node up there. And now if we grab our pipe, chuck it here. And next, the filter. So if we right click this filter, we are going to want water. And then if we chuck that filter in there, I believe, just like so. Next, if we grab our hardened fluid ducts, I find hardened to be quite cool, but you can use really whatever fluid ducts you want. Place that there, all the way, running all the way to the tank. Sweet. 
Now if we grab our servo and we right click on that. Now if we right click on that maybe, we want to whitelist water. And that is pretty much all there is to it. So in theory, this should open that door and it should work. So why don't we give it a test? Okay, quickly before we test this, I just forgot that servo I put there. You don't want the hard servo filter. You actually want a you want a hardened servo. So if we right click that like so, and now if we go water, and we want to whitelist it, that will toggle on when you activate this. So if we toggle that off, now this is set and ready. So, if we give this a test run, now where's our water? Now, if we fill this up with water, as you can see, it's deactivated there. It is a little bit slow, but I'm pretty sure you guys can find a way of tweaking it to make it faster if you want to. any second now when it turns on come on water you're almost there oh. and okay there you go and there you go it's x it's taking all of that rubbish out And there you go, that switch back on, and it is ready for what you call it. It's ready for the next person. So that is my water lock. Yeah. Oh, and just the reason why that door did not open is because we I set that door too far back. That door should actually be at the front, so if we grab the door and place that like that, now it will work. Just set it too far back. So I hope you like my cool invention. I reckon it's really cool, it's fully automatic, you can leave it and you can pretty much change this to whatever fluid you want. All you have to do is you have to just change the filter in there. And if you don't want to use transfer pipes and a transfer node, you can use Buildcraft, feel free. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. You can now play a trick on your friends or keep it as yourself. So until next time, thank you.